this too. is unreal engine People use this to create massive game environments, movies, TV series and product animations. And the best part is this software is free. Now that is insane and in next 30 days I am going to master this software to create my own short film. Messed up man. Oh no. What the hell? This is hard. No. Okay, so let's start with our first day. First up is to create an Epic Games account and I will download Unreal Engine and uh, let's do that quickly. Until it gets downloaded, I'll quickly give you my introduction. Hi, I am Gary. I love art. In past 9 years, I have worked with many different clients ranging from mid-level businesses, social media creators and global MNCs. This is my company, Chrominus. My goal is to build a big empire and inspire people around the world. So I will be your host on this channel for most of the videos. Let's get back to work. So we are officially inside Unreal Engine 5. So for this challenge, I have some ideas about what I have to do. Because I have Skillshare, I have this course from Jordi. Yes, Papa Jordi from Cinecom. Oh, by the way, guys, this is not sponsored video from Skillshare. I mean, it's good if they do sponsor because I'm currently broke. It is just that I have subscription so I will use this. Whoa! Okay, why my screen is flying suddenly? It will take me time obviously because Blender doesn't have this WASD controls. So as Papa Jordi said, I learned some basic controls and understood how this content browser works. Scale, rotation, position, duplicate. I made a wall. Added a material, lights, learned how to change light settings, learned about different view modes, and that was my first day. Wake up. Day 2, I started with landscape mode, learned some basic sculpting, but then I imported a height map, applied a material and using Quixel bridge and fab plugin, I imported these elements and then I started with foliage mode, where you can spread plants on your landscape. So I have to enable this uh, wind feature for the material and that is actually good if you ask me. It is very hectic inside Blender. So just look at this. As soon as I enable this wind option here, you can see this little foliage just dancing with the flow. Wow. And that too in real time. Just look at this grass, look at this plants. This is becoming my new favorite software. So I continued adding few elements by following the tutorial. And later, I did something crazy. I added this huge donut in the scene. Cause why not? So sorry guys, I lied. My actual father is a blender guru. Yeah, he taught me how to make a donut. Maybe I should rename this channel as Unreal Engine Guru Son of Blender Guru where I teach how to make a donut inside Unreal Engine. Comment down if you want that to happen. I guess it is uh, good for second day. On day 3, I learned how to use camera and make a composition. Also learned about this post processing effects. So now I have basic idea how it works. I made a little scene by adding this statue in the middle and added bunch of foliage around it. Added some decals and made a very amazing camera animation inside level sequencer. I also watched a tutorial on how to export but as soon as I opened my exported files, I saw this. What? Why it happened? But I did export it this properly, right? I don't understand, man. Huh? You know, I spent a lot of time creating this scene and this is very annoying, guys. As you can see, I have this properly inside my Unreal Engine, but it is messed up in my render. Yeah, so day three went like this where I failed how to render. After getting frustrated on day 3, I moved on back to the course and started designing this interior scene. I spent day 4 and 5 just making this scene and adding details. I am still not over the fact that I messed up on day 3 in uh, rendering. But it's fine, you know, I will figure it out eventually. So, yeah. <laughs> So on day 6, I started messing with metahumans. Hello, hello. So I'm actually making this 
Elon Musk meta human and uh, yeah wish me luck uh one eternity later and we have this elon musk meta human inside unreal engine i also have this option of live link basically it tracks my head with this app and whatever i am saying it is getting captured in real time On day 7 I watched a tutorial about game creation and by following along I made this guy walk into the scene while searching I found this amazing playlist by Infima Games where they teach you how to make a fully working game so I started with that project but the playlist was into two main parts part 1 was to model and animate inside Blender 3D and part 2 was to bringing back those things from Blender to Unreal Engine so I spent day 7 to 15 create in this interactive game so here is a short compilation Yeah, this took me a lot of time to understand, but after all this frustration, I finally made this game. I feel like I have won the award. The award goes to Oh, look at that. It's scary. <laughs> On day 16 I found out this amazing playlist by Bad Decision Studio and I decided to follow along. I learned this different modes section here. I found out there are same features just like Blender where you can do basic things like UV and wrapping. And one of my favorite is this pattern feature. Basically just like the array modifier inside the Blender. Oh I'm not into Blender yeah you can't go into edit mode like pressing tab <laughs> Stupid. I honestly like this series so much that I spent around 8 days following along you know what it's already day 23 and I have understood a lot of things inside Unreal Engine the only thing I struggled was the rendering and I already made this little sequence here I guess it's time that I try rendering again and see what I come up with And as soon as I hit render, I encountered this very big issue. What? Wait a minute, Unreal. Why my render kind of look like this? The blurry lines over here. Trust me, I checked everything. I searched a lot. I watched so many tutorials. I spent around two days just re-rendering the sequence. Again. Okay let me try test number 3 and again this is my test number 4 and again i found this option just making sure it is good and uh, rendering it again i hope this works but i failed every single time 
I'm already on end of day 25. I followed most of the steps which I saw in all of these tutorials. But I still have hope that I will find something. I was checking through forums. Then I read this article. Depth of field issue. Yeah, let me try this one too. And guess what guys? It worked. Okay, so this is my test number 6. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you what happened. In project settings, there is this option called as alpha output and I just turned it off and that's it. It is working fine. I legit spent two days figuring this out. This software is just like its name. Very unreal. Even after figuring out rendering, I felt that this scene are very same as shown in the tutorial. You know what, I have 5 more days and as I planned, I need to make a short film. Why can't I just make something with this exact setup, but adding my own touch. After thinking very hard, I saw this. <laughs> My goal is to build a big empire. My goal is to build a big empire. I accidentally wrote my own destiny. I wanted to make it a little funny. So I came up with this idea. Star Wars, a very short dance battle. I started searching for Darth Vader model online. I did not find a good model. Instead, I downloaded this Darth Maul character and took help of Mixamo for animation. I spent 5 days creating this short film out of what I have. I only have very little time left. Also, the voiceover, color grading and sound designing is pending. And rendering will also take some time on day 28. Because of the time constraint, I decided to render this out. I thought I will be able to render this in 7 to 8 hours, but I faced multiple crashes. Especially this D3D crash which got on my nerves. As I was getting closer to day 30, I got worried that I might not able to complete this in time. And I was right. I did not finish this in 30 days. It took me 2 extra days. I failed this challenge. Kind of. Not only that, but I found few issues as you can see. I will definitely get better, but for now, I don't think I will re-render this again. Because I already crossed the 30 day limit, I learned Unreal Engine. I learned how to tackle these issues. Working under pressure is not that easy, but it teach you how to get better at things. If you are still watching this video, even after knowing that I failed, I wanted to say Thank you for sticking with me. Life is not perfect. We decide something. There is no guarantee it will happen the way we want it. So I hope you guys learned something from this. Do subscribe for future challenges. And here is the final result. Show yourself who is the TikTok guy. Oh, so you are the one. Yes. How dare you? Hmm, I am a baddie. <laughs> Do you want to die? Only I'm the one who can dance better than anyone. I challenge you to do a battle with... Only one round. Hey, it is us. Okay, okay. Come on, man. All right.
Oh, shit. Oh, stop it.